Becky is actually working as a waitress until these disrespectful dudes come in. Becky, yeah, uh, that sounds like a stripper name. Your mom must be hot. Now I want to fuck her. <laughs> Go, all right, dude. That is not a hot stripper name. Not Becky. I want Mercedes or Lexus. Some expensive, exotic. Come on, dude. Do better. Her mom actually died of cancer in the first movie, so I guess she takes, like, uh, homage to this and then spills coffee in this dude's lap. He gets really pissed off. He actually gets so pissed off, he waits in his truck with his boys and go, hey, we're going to stalk her and follow her back to her house. <laughs> so it's been four years since that last incident, you know, where she killed Kevin James and the other Nazis. She's bouncing around from, like, foster home to foster home. She runs away from one and then starts living with this older black woman sort of like how Deadpool did this time around the villains are instead of neo-nazis it's the nobleman right and I think it's supposed to be a play on proud boys you get it proud boys men proud you know noble we get it Hey, look at that. She still has the key from the first one that we never knew where it went to. She hears something late at night. She goes investigating and, ah, oh, man, the guy comes up right behind her. She gets her dog, Diego, to come through and, oh, man, dude, that dog. The dog didn't get killed, though. Dude. They didn't kill the dog. They just sort of abducted the dog. But the old lady came downstairs with the shotgun and, man, she wasn't quick enough to the draw and got shot right there. Brutal. Becky wakes up the next day from her concussion and what she sees the dead landlady on the floor and her dog Diego's missing. Here we go. Becky suits up and gets ready to go track these dudes down and found them pretty easily too. How do you ask? They said it's because it's a small they, town but uh well they also put that dumb flag up. Country. And you know who's the leader? Stifler from American Pie man. That's very cool to see him in this. They're in the middle of of their hate dinner like it's the day before their rally she knocks the door and gives them a courtesy call right leaves like a burner cell phone there now she's giving them a call like she's ghostface the red-haired dude had enough dude he gets a shotgun off the wall goes outside goes looking for her but you know becky's looking out and said hey i took your thumb drive with a list of all your racist proud boy homies she broke into their house and found their like senator hernandez sex doll they're trying to kill her tomorrow so she like actually got her phone took a photo of all their blueprints and in the meantime they went out to the barn and they find their weapon stash and everything so nice now she has tear gas and grenades and all sorts of stuff the red hair guy was one of the first guys to sort of get a boom arrow in his mouth it knocked out some teeth and he went to go chase her inside this barn but she tear gassed the whole place up and smoked him out and then afterwards she hacked him up with a machete I lost count how many times she struck him, man. It was almost sort of like Sam <laughs> stabbing Richie. Like, just well over 20, 30, who knows. He had a disagreement with one of the boys who was like, Hey, man, I'm out of here. I'm not trying to get all this smoke. So, a stiffler actually got up to him and yeah, cracked his neck. And the guy who actually shot the old lady, well, <laughs> Becky got him outside, set up a booby trap for when you open the door, pulled off a grenade, taped in this dude's mouth, and boom, blew up. After that, Becky got captured only momentarily, and this old lady who ended up being Stifler's mom actually was in on the whole insurrection deal. So what she gets, she got a knife right to her forehead, thrown by Becky. Yeah, I guess that's why we saw her throw that knife earlier. Like, yeah, you have to train to throw a knife like that. Becky ran through the woods, and Stifler followed. And when he followed her, he followed her right into a trap, and ah, stepped in one bear trap, then stepped into another and then he timbered over and fell face first into another bear trap he even gave her props as dying like hey well played uh one of the dudes almost got off the hook because he got in his car and he got the hell out of there definitely didn't want that smoke with her but the CIA approached Becky and went, hey, how would you like to work for this? So she went, yeah, sure. And I guess she got like fast pass to Bazookaville because she pulled over that guy in the car and shot it with the bazooka. End of movie.
It's pretty much a better version of the very first movie with the home invasion thing, except she's invading their home and we still never found out where that key goes to.